Hello, lovely people. I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. In this crochet tutorial, I show you how to crochet the loop stitch. I'm recording this tutorial actually to go along with my new cuddly gnome pattern. And that's why I'm using this velour plush yarn for the loop stitch because um, his beard is made of loop stitches. But of course, you could use the loop stitch for any other project and use any other yarn. Um, feel free to experiment with it. I think it's really fun to see how it looks with different yarns. That's why I was really looking forward to make his beard with this really fun stitch. And so we just make a row of 10 stitches just as a sample and I'm using green instead of white because I think that's easier to see. Still, it's not that easy to see <laughs> because um, this is uh, this velour yarn, but it's easier than you may think. So we start with a chain of 11. So we make a little loop. And chain 11. We don't need any specific stitch count with this pattern because um, it's just a single stitch, like in every single stitch we make a loop. So yeah, you can adjust it to any pattern you want to create. And so I made these 11 chains to make a base row of 10 single crochet. So this stitch always starts with the base row of single crochet. And so we start here in the second chain from the hook with a single crochet. And then just make one single crochet in each chain. And you may actually see the chains. You definitely get used to it if you struggle see with seeing them in the beginning. You can also feel for them. And that's it. That's our first base row done. So we can give this a little pull. Then we chain and turn our work. And now we can get started with the loop row. So the loops will actually be um, facing away from us. So now we're looking at the back side, the reverse side of our work. So now we lay our yarn over our index finger and the distance between our index finger and our work determines the length of our loop. So now is a good time to decide how long we would like those loops to be. Uh, I try to keep it at this distance. And so we start by inserting our hook in the next stitch. Then we go over here, so yarn under, and then we pick up the yarn that's behind our index finger. And I just slide my hook down and try not to move the index finger to keep the length of the loop as you want it to be. And then we pull this loop through this stitch. And here you have different options. In the photo tutorial, I kept my index finger in the loop. And then I just picked up the working yarn that's laying here over my index finger. 
and put it through the two loops on my hook. There we go. Then remove the index finger from the loop and let it drop. So now you can see it's on the other side here. Um, so this will be the right side of our work and this is the wrong side. So I'm showing you another option now with the next stitch. So again, we try to keep the index finger at about the same distance. Don't worry too much. Um, my loops definitely weren't all the same length. That's absolutely fine, especially with this pattern. Um, it, it's not really noticeable. So now we go through the next stitch and again yarn under and then pick up the loop that's pick up the yarn that's behind our index finger and slide our hook down to pull it through this stitch. I find it easier to turn my hook. So now what you may prefer to do is to use your index finger of the hand that's holding the hook to hold the loop in place to secure it and then use your other index finger to pick up the working yarn and then complete the stitch by picking up the yarn and pulling it, pulling it through the two loops on your hook. So maybe this way is more comfortable for you. You can try it out and see what works for you. So we do this with the whole row now. So we make one loop in each stitch. So once the row is complete, you can again give it a gentle pull and then chain and turn. So this is how the front side looks now. And then as explained in the gnome pattern, in every other row, we just make a row of single crochet. And that's it. Give it a little pull. Chain and turn. And now we have a loop row again. So let's do one more row to see how it looks once we did two. So I'm trying to keep my index finger at the same distance.
So give this a little pull. That's our second loop row done. So we chain and turn. And now our next row would be a simple single crochet row again. But I'll leave it here so you can see how it looks with two rows now. As you can tell, my loops are not all the same length, but I think that's completely fine. It definitely is for the gnome pattern I made um, because my gnome is a wild one who doesn't trim his beard. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And I hope you found this tutorial useful. See you in my next Amigurumi tutorial. Bye.